Hello, in this video we are discussing circular time reversal or circular folding property of DFT and we are solving one example based on it. Circular time reversal property. If x of n is the sequence and if its DFT is x of k and if we circular time reverse the x of n, its effect in a frequency domain is this DFT x of k also get reversed. This symbol indicate it is a circular time reversal. The same circular time reversal we can write it as a x of n minus n its dft x of n minus k. So in some book you may find the circular time reversal can be written like this. Now let us understand what is circular time reversal or time folding. Suppose this is our x of n 1, 2, 3, 4, these are the sample values, 4 samples are there. Now, when I want to fold it, first sample is as it is and other samples we are writing in a reverse order, that means 4, 3, 2. So, folded or circular time reversal is one first sample as it is and remaining samples we are writing in a reverse order, that is 4, 3, so, first sample 1 as it is and other samples in a reverse order 4, 3, 2. So, this is circular time reversal or circular folding operation. Now, let us solve one example. Find DFT of a sequence x of n 1, 2, 3, 4 and second point is using the result obtained in a 1, find the DFT of sequence x1 n is equal to 1432 so first we have to find the dft of x of n by matrix method x of k is equal to twiddle factor matrix and this is x of n let's put the values this is twiddle factor matrix and your input is 1 2 3 4 to the matrix multiplication first row of this one this column like this second row this column third row this column fourth row this column and matrix multiplication is this one and while doing this calculation you will get x of k 10 minus 2 plus 2j then minus 2 and minus 2 minus 2j this is the x of k by the matrix multiplication or by matrix method this is the dft of this x of n now second point is using this result you have to find the dft of this x1 n so we have to Use this x of k to find the x1 k, dft of x1 n. We cannot apply this matrix method to find dft of x1 n. We have to use this result to find the dft of x1 n. Now, for that, you should know the relation between x of n and x1 n so that you can decide which property you can apply. So, this is your x1 n and this is your x of n. Now, if you check, the samples, the sample values are 1, 2, 3 and here also sample values are 1, 2, 3, 4 only in a shuffled manner. Now, which property we can use? How to decide this? Previously, we have discussed time shifting property. If we apply time shifting, what happen? One time shift is 1, 4 will come here, then 4, 1, 2, 3. But our sample is x1n is 1, 4, 3, 2. So, how to decide whether we can apply time shifting or time reversal property? So, first always check your first sample. If first sample is same and other samples are just shuffle version, you can decide. If first sample is same, then there is no time shifting property. It is time reversal or any other property. So, let us check first sample is same and if we fold it, it is 4, 3, 2 that is reverse order. So, this x1n is nothing but folded version of x of n, circular time reversal or circular time folded version of x of n. So, here we can use circular time reversal property. That is, x of n is the sequence if its dft is x of k and if we fold this x of n in frequency domain also, we can fold this x of k. Now, x1n is nothing but 
folded version of x of n. So, x of x1 of k is nothing but folded version of x of k. So, x of k we calculated by matrix method. So, we need to calculate x1 k. We have to fold this x of k. So, first sample as it is and other samples in a reverse order. So, first sample is 10. Then reverse order means this sample will come here minus 2 minus 2j then minus 2 and minus 2 plus 2j. So, this is the x1 k. So, this is the example where we have used time reverser or time folding property of DFT. Thank you.